Okay, got the gladiator complex today. The reason being, it's a lot of, well, it's a fair amount of reps with the 24s. Um, it's not as much pressing as the um, armor builder, at least the way I do it. Um, but that's that's why I'm doing it. It's because my shoulder's been a little bit um, crunchy from swinging swords and axes around. So, you know, sword practice. It's been a little bit <laughs> sore. So, <sighs> doing this complex will allow me to train with the 24s and not aggravate that shoulder too much. So that's why I'm doing it. That and I just kind of like training with an EMOM like that. Bring back a little more intensity. It'll <coughs> be good for the grip too. This is obviously the warm up. Some halos, hand to hand swing. This is my favorite warm up exercise because it really gets the core to fire which helps you do everything else. I do believe that the hand to hand swing is just better than the single kettlebell swing unless it's a really really heavy kettlebell but something like this if you're if you're not a beginner there's no reason to do a two hand mid weight kettlebell swing in my opinion if you're not a beginner or injured there's no reason to do it so double them up or do the hand-to-hand -hand swing as a nice warm-up. Or if you're short on time, do this over the two-hand swing because it's going to engage more muscles. Primarily in the core, as I said, gets everything to fire pretty well. I have noticed that I have just over 500 subscribers. That's pretty neat. Apparently, it is something that YouTube feels the need to notify you about. So that's cool. I have no idea why, but I'm not complaining. You don't even need to hold the weight like that. Just kind of use the weight as a counterbalance to sink into the squat let everything open up feels great I'm starting to get to the point where I can do that without a counterweight which is pretty neat Today is a uh, Sunday, Sunday morning.
like I said in the last one on Friday, this is probably my favorite complex. And the heavier you go, the more effective it is. It's a complex that I feel like beginners can do. You just use a single bell. I've done a single bell gladiator before. <coughs> Intermediates, advanced kettlebell lifters can use. It's just a really well designed kettlebell complex. If you're going really heavy and you care more about strength and power, don't put it on a one minute timer. Rest is needed. I like to hit that conditioning sweet point. So that one minute timer is perfect. If you're going heavier. And yeah, for a complex like this, 24 is heavy if you're going 20 rounds on that minute timer. Given how late in the year it was, I, I didn't realize it in that one video where I mentioned the 28s. I am going to... Um, Get those starting in January. And I'm going to use the last two months here to get good with these. Like, really good. I really probably should do a warm up round with the 20s first, but <sighs> man. Can't can't remember who designed this complex.
But if you Google it or, you know, put it in on YouTube, it should give you the most popular video on it. And they mention who it is. But yeah, Gladiator's my favorite. Hand grip still giving me trouble.
for that last 50, I might do two of each one. Because of my left hand with the grip, um, you notice a lot of people, most people will swing the kettlebell, horns um, horizontally. I do them vertically because it's easier for me to grip. That's that's why I do it that way. It doesn't really matter. I don't think. Now I'm gonna do it normal. I think that'll be fine. If I launch a kettlebell, oops. Where's the next one? So what I did there, which you're not really supposed to do, is I let my scapula relax and unretract, which made it easier to focus on holding the bells. You're not really supposed to do that, but you know, sometimes when you get good at something, you know how you can play with it to not Injure yourself. But yeah, if you're doing especially double swings. Keep your scapula retracted. The reason being is that it's uh, it's easier to maintain the correct balance and positioning because you're pulling the, the bells back a bit because your arms are pulled in because you're keeping everything retracted. I am not too worried about my balance and losing control that way. Right now I'm worried about my hand giving out. Two more rounds to go.
That one, that last one was a little wonky on them squats, not gonna lie. I tried to rush getting into the squat position. I think that now that my knee is mostly back to normal, I'm going to start working on more unilateral work again. So, um, yeah, like um, one-sided split squats, uh, lunges, switch jumps, pressing, all that kind of stuff. Um, work on unilateral. Uh, lifting because I um, kind of felt that hip on that second to last set of squats I kind of shifted and it just felt a little funky so you know a lot of work is where I'm going to be I mean I'm still going to do doubles obviously but um, the next workout is going to be a unilateral uh, ladder complex with a 20 and instead of just regular squats I'm gonna do split squats or just outright lunges and then snatches and whatnot the reason I kind of shied away from snatches is because the uh, forearm got a little tweaked from uh, excessive sword practice And that's a, a remnant from when I first got the Conobo and was using it a bit excessively at first. If, if you're going to do any type of um, weighted club training or anything, ease into it and don't get a particularly long one because that, uh, uh, what I want to call it, centrifugal force shearing force whatever you want to call it uh, if you're not used to it that can pull on the tendons and the muscles and cause you a bit of pain from I just outright dislocated my my elbow um, so that's why you got to be careful with that shit I, it popped and uh, yeah I'm still feeling that from time to time if I do too much. What helps with that? Band uh, pulls. Take a band, a mild resistance band, like that. Put it overhead. And then light, high volume tricep push downs. That helps this bit a lot right in here. And then apparently, according to Alex Leonidas, Hammer curls. I don't know. Curls cause me a lot of uncomfortable pain. I tend to not do them. But you can. So yeah, that's all I gotta do. So I'm gonna turn it off. Uh, thanks for the 520-ish subscribers. Appreciate that. Uh, peace.